What's up guys, Chris at Dentless Touch, back again with another Paintless Dent Repair video. This time around we have that beautiful Tesla over here. In my last Tesla video, I stated, well last Tesla 3 video, I stated that this car was all aluminum, which is not. The quarter panels are steel. I think only the doors are aluminum. But anyway, in this repair, I'm gonna show you the power of glue pulling because we used 100% glue pulling technique. Also, I'm gonna show you why it adds time to the repair because it's a tedious process. So stay tuned. All right, so let's go over this repair. You can see I was trying to pull up that body line with these curved tabs, and it's been actually playing very well, especially with this steel. Tesla steel moves quite easy, but you can see I still have a ton of lows that I need to address. So the reason why I attack the body line first is typically a body line gives that panel strength, gives it some rigidity. So. Uh, if I can move that, then I can move everything else around it. So I start there, especially on something like this, uh, and that's going to dictate if this repair is going to be successful or not. So if you guys have uh, been around my videos and or been around the PDR industry, you know there's a couple of different tools that you can use to pull these tabs off the panel. Uh, I particularly use the slide hammer, uh, but there's also a mini lifter and there's some uh, K beams and stuff, but for this repair, I would either choose the slide hammer or those mini lifters from Kiko. So you can see anytime you pull uh, or use a glue tab to pull, you cannot control uh, how high it will pull. At least, at least it's not as granular as pushing. So this requires us to pull and knock down, which you see me doing in the video. So this is the best part to speed up the video, I think, because you can actually see the metal move as I'm blending. It's very faint if you look at it one hit at a time, but over the series of 20 and 30 uh, blows from the hammer, you can actually see that metal kind of shape back into its you know, original form. Below the byline is really looking good. And now I'm gonna get ready to start addressing stuff above the byline. There's a low, I don't know if this is the perfect angle, to see it but let me point it out for you so for glue pulling each one of the pulls is almost like a push from our tool so on average i push roughly about four to five seconds a push and with glue pulling i'm having to wait and let the glue set and then do a pull so it drastically increases the time it takes to move metal thus adding a ton of time for the actual repair so you can see I'm kind of off centering these tabs. I'm pulling the lowest part of the damage. Um, I always go from that approach. I don't try to pull everything all up at once. I try to do soft, meticulous pulls, allowing the metal to flex. As I'm using the slide hammer, I can kind of sense tension. And that's when I either will release the slide hammer with a harder pull, or I will go and just take the tab off with alcohol and not stress out that metal too much but it's a feeling that a technician has. It's like an art by itself. It's like a, another entity of paintless dent repair. It still takes years to master, but um, Dave did a beautiful write-up and put together a glue pulling guide that we offer for free. Uh, I'll leave the link below for you guys to read up on that. If anybody's wondering what glue I'm using, uh, this is a perfect pull. A collision glue that I'm using and it is available on our website a link will be provided below if you're interested
just for anybody who's forgotten this is what the damage looked like before and here is the after shot of that damage now i don't want to scare anybody any one to two year tech will be able to complete this you know like always practice makes perfect so i know exactly where to pull and how to pull so just keep on pushing guys all right guys if you made it this far hopefully you learned something and if you have damage like this hopefully you choose pdr see you guys in the next video peace